Hey, what's up, Rock fam? The, we are the Farias. I am Carrie. This is... Natalie. All right. And today we are going over Judges, chapter 12, 13, and 14. Uh, hope you guys have been following along with the church. Uh, we've learned quite a bit of interesting things about the book of Judges so far, I would say. Uh, so let's get into this. In chapter 12, not a whole lot happens. It talks mm -hmm. about three kings who ruled over Israel. Um, Ibzan, did I get that right? You did it! Yeah, I've been working <laughs> on this for a while. So Elon and Abdon, who all uh, were kings and their goal was, uh, their priority was um, power and wealth yeah. over in, in their serving time. Um, definitely not following the Lord. Yeah, definitely not of God. So in chapter 13, moving on, um, Israel did a lot of evil things in God's eyes. So in that, that led to Israel being handed over to the Philistines uh, for 40 years. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? I'm you're, getting this. I'm doing good. this, people. You're good. All right. So um, what they're doing, what they were doing wasn't necessarily um, evil in their eyes. But it really kind of sets the tone of what happens next in throughout chapter 14 and moving on. So yep. go ahead and take it away. All right. So then we meet, um, well, we don't get to meet Manoah yet, but we meet his wife, who is unnamed. Unnamed. Mm. Yep. Um, she's barren at this point, and she gets visited by the angel of the Lord, who tells her that she's going to have a son and that she is to raise him to be a Nazarite. Um, which is somebody who's been set apart for God. Um, there's some very strict rules with being a Nazarite. You can't cut your hair. You can't drink anything from the vine, whether it is um, alcohol or non-alcoholic. You can't eat anything that's unclean, and you can't even touch dead bodies yeah. because you are somebody who actually is in the presence of God daily. Um, in the tabernacle at this time. So yeah, even, he's supposed to be a goat, like a Patrick Mahomes or, you know, like a um, San Francisco 49er. What was his name? Um, Nick Bosa? <laughs> no, I was oh. talking about the quarterback, the legendary <laughs> Joe Montana, but that's anyway, okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so even like in utero, um, this process had to start. So as she was pregnant with um, this son, she had to eat only clean, yeah. um, not drink anything from the vine, and make sure that she, you know, really focused on doing that. So she's super excited. She, you know, goes to her husband, <laughs> Manoa, and is like, hey, you're not going to believe what happened. This angel of the Lord came, told me all this stuff, and he's like, hmm, well. <laughs> Do I believe this unnamed woman? That could woman? be possible, but I need more information. So he calls upon the Lord again and asks for the Lord to send another angel which graciously the Lord does. Um, the angel doesn't give him any other information other than what he's already given the wife. Yep. Um, and then he accepts their burnt offering that they give him and he leaves. And all of a sudden, Manoah is like, <laughs> oh, that was really an angel of the Lord. And now yes. he's freaking out because gonna he thinks die. they're going to die. And his very calm wife is like, sweetheart. Why would he come and give us this decree about the son that we're going to have who's going to be set apart if the Lord was just going to kill us? Yep. So that begs the question like, okay, well, then what was the purpose of this second visit, right? Um, and from what we understand and what the Lord has kind of shown us is that this was God showing Manoah his character. Yes. That, um, you know, his goodness, his faithfulness, and basically the purpose of the second visit was to remind Manoah and his wife that he yep. needs to impart that information onto their son. Bringing him up um, and raising him. You know, so that he has the tools and the understanding of God's character for what he has to do um, as he grows. Yep. So there's that. And then, of course, their son is born and they name him Samson. And take it away. So Samson is born, um, blessed, you know, obviously a goat. 
Um, but <laughs> it kind of starts out to like, set, it sets him up for failure because of what they name him. Because Can I just stop you for a second? What? For those of you who don't know what a goat is and you're like, where's the goat in this story? <laughs> it's what they offered for God. No. no. <laughs> a goat is greatest of all time. Yes. G-O-A-T. Yes. So that's what he's talking about. The goat. That's what the angel said. I want you to bear this goat. Did okay. you not read that? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so Samson is born uh, blessed, a goat, and but he was set up for failure right off the bat because his name means, the meaning of his name is little son, S-U-N, which is, um, what was it? It's, it's one of the pagan gods. Yes. He was named after a pagan god. So this just shows that even though he was set apart and his parents knew that he was supposed to be raised you know, in the way that God wanted him to, that there was still a little bit of a hold of right. the, you So know, now you have a stronghold culture. already on you when you're supposed to be pure and clean and above all else, but now you're tied to something else that's going to hold you. So, right. um, yeah, so this was, you know, going to influence his life and we'll see it in the next couple of chapters, uh, you know, how that influenced how he responded um, even though he had, um, you know, the spirit of God on him, some of his decisions were definitely made because of the idols in his life. And that's yeah. just kind of where the Lord took us as we read this. Um, and it really just showed us that, like, we as Christ followers need to be really intentional Absolutely. about um, really hearing what God's will is for our lives and living that because even if we're doing what we think God wants us to do, even if it's a good thing, like serving at the church or, you know, raising your kids, raising or... your kids, whatever it is that you think is a good thing, if it's not the will of God, then right. it can become an idol in your life. Anything that you put above yeah. the will of God really becomes what your priority is and what your focus is on. And that is, yeah. that's going to lead you astray. So... Right. Um, you know, as we were praying about this, we just wanted to, uh, impart that, that wisdom on you that the most important thing is really to get into your word, learn about the character of God, learn about your identity in who he says you are, yeah. because that's really going to be your anchor as, I mean, the world we live in right now is going to pull you in all different directions. Social media tells you what their truth yeah. is. And, um, you know, even as it said in what we read that Israel did evil in the sight of God, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean that, um, it was evil in their eyes. So it could have been something good, like, you know, Whatever the thing, I don't know. <laughs> it it could have been, been good, but if it's not what the Lord's will is, yeah. then it's evil in his eyes. And so just so, make sure that when we are doing things that we are seeking out God's uh, will first before we move forward on what we as flesh want to do. Uh, in you know, So that way we honor the body of Christ in what he's asking us to do. So. Yeah. But that's it for now. So um, hope that helped you guys understand uh, 12, 13, and 14 a little bit better in the book of Judges. So You want to pray real quick? Yeah. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for um, just this time together, Lord, um, and just teaching us um, the book of Judges. It's not a book that people, I think, go, go after. Mm -hmm. And so just bringing this forth has just opened our eyes to a lot of new things and, and new ways to help, um, us see what we can do better and to be more, uh, intentional in those times. So yeah. God, we just thank you so much. And we just ask for blessings over all Lord in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. See you later, you guys. Bye. Bye.